In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a pen holder with your 3D printer. So let's get right into it. Hi everyone. So the first step is to auto home the printer. So let's go to prepare and auto home. While this is uh, going back to the home position, uh, I want to speak about the pen choice. So the pen here, choose a pen with a good grip. That way it can sit nice and snug here. And also choose something that you can deploy and stow if you do not need. This is helpful. So the pen choice is kind of important here. Don't choose something slippery. Something with a nice grip is helpful. Now the printer is at the home position. Let's go ahead and go to prepare, move axis, and we are going to move the z axis let's do the one millimeter for now uh, and we're going to move it down to the zero position so we're going to go here move it all the way to the zero and let me get closer and you can see there is one millimeter left i'm going to go and move by 0.1 and then let's go down to real zero so when you're down to the zero position that's how you know by the way you don't have to change the nozzle you don't have to change anything uh, the CR touch should be in place and this will sit on top of the CR touch now when you're at the zero position now you will deploy the pen so we're gonna have the pin out right so you want the pen to be deployed and you will push so you can loosen this push the pen all the way down to to until it touches the paper and then make sure it sits nice and then you will tighten here and make sure it's nice and tight you don't want to over tighten this um, it's not that much pressure on it but make sure it's tight enough that it can write without slipping up uh, this sits right on top of the CR touch by the way I do have a separate video showing you how to install it and another video on designing it using uh, using a Fusion 360. So now the pen is in place and it's at the zero position. Basically, the pen is leveled. Uh, you can remove the filament because we don't need that. You can leave the nozzle alone. Uh, so the nozzle doesn't need to be removed or you don't have to mess with the setup. And in case you're done with the pen, you can literally just uh, like undeploy it like that and the rest of the printer continue to work as is or you can just uh, literally unscrew it from here and then remove the pen so that way you don't have to mess with the printer setup and you can use the pen when needed and use the regular printer as is so we're not really messing with the printer so much and again we're just removed uh, the uh, filament here because we don't need that now let's go to the uh, software and so i can show you some of the settings changes that we need to make now we are at the computer let's take a look at some of the software changes i've made the first one here worth mentioning that you can see the print does not sit exactly in the middle because you do need to offset that by a little bit to account for the pen that is not exactly in the same location as the nozzle right so you have the pen is offset a little bit because it sits on top of the cr touch and ahead or in front of the actual printer nozzle you can do the offset in the software but my goal here is to really keep a minimum modification to your 3d printer so you can swap between the regular 3d printing and the pen really really easy that's the goal here and that's why i'm doing some of these things the way i'm doing them now let's look at some of the settings here uh, the first one i just lowered the printing temperature down to the minimum that the software will take i did 20 here that worked and this is just about uh, immediate print uh, for the build plate 30 was the minimum that the software would take and i just did 30 and that worked now let's uh, look down here 
under travel section, we definitely need to enable the retraction. On top of that, we need to enable the Z hop. So when you enable the Z hop, it will um, have the Z axis go up when you do not need that drag line. Uh, this way, it will prevent the pen from having an extra lines while transitioning between uh, different part of your uh, print or image in this case. And make sure you also increase the hop height. I think the default hop height was uh, 0 0.2. I increased that to 0.8, and that just worked just fine for me. Uh, you might want to experiment with your own printer, but I think 0.8 worked just fine for me. So um, in addition to all this, uh, honestly, not much changes. You can definitely turn off cooling if you want. Uh, you can play with these settings, but my goal and intention was to do a minimum of modification. That way, if I just don't want to use the pen, I can remove it and go back to 3D printing uh, with like minimum modification here. Um, the last piece I want to mention is if you click on the print, um, you can see that if you go to the scale under the Z, which is the height of the print, uh, I just did uh, 0.2, and that seems to work just fine. If you do anything more than that, it might try to do multiple layers, and you don't want to do that. You just want the one layer since it's a pen on paper, right? And uh, if you do anything under that, then the software will not even read the print, then you will get nothing. Uh, obviously, don't forget to stick and uh, have the paper clipped on the bed, and that will just you know, do the print on the paper instead of, of the bed. Uh, I just use the same um, clips to hold the paper in place on the print plate. So that seems to be working fine. Now let me show you how that's working and how my print turned out. Thank you.